Hi guys, um, this is gonna be a quick um, tutorial on how to paint white. So you can see I have an apothic area there which have a white leg. Which, uh, I'm gonna show you how, how to achieve this kind of whiteness on. Um, first, uh, I have two. Oh, damn it. Well, I accidentally broke up the wing of my sanguinary guard, but I have two ways to paint white, and uh, these are the two. You can see that there is not much difference to it. You can see there's Dante and there is uh, the sanguinary guard. You can see the wing over there. You achieve basically the same effect, um, but. The the difference is uh, a little bit. Oh, it's a little bit different how you paint it, because uh, the way I did the things on Dante is um, base base coated uh, in uh, white uh, with the skull white spray paint. Um, and uh, well, when you've done that, you basically you have the model in white, so it's quite easy. Um, then you just, um, uh, well, I just put a wash of that black on, and then I painted it up with some uh, skull white to make it look like this. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty simple. And the second one is the um, the way I'm gonna paint. Uh, the way I'm going to show you guys how to do, um, which is the way I painted this sanguinary guard. Um, it is painted in, uh, base coated in black, which makes it a lot more difficult to paint um, white on. And uh, I know that some guys find that uh, quite challenging, uh, including myself. Uh, a while back, uh, I didn't really know how to do it. But now I do, so I'm. I thought I might share it with you guys. Um, so what you want to do is you you base coat it in skull black. Uh, skull black. Um, what's it called? Oh god! Shit! Yeah, well, you base coat it in black. But I just had to change. Chaos black. That's it. How can you forget that? Uh, well, anyway, you base coat in uh, case black, and then you uh, you basically use three colors. Here we go. Um, use uh, off the base coat. Uh, you used I use astronomical uh, gray to paint like a. Oh, I'm way too. Uh, I'm not very careful with my models. Uh, well, anyway, you use this as a kind of base, not like a, oh, well, almost like a base coat uh, for the model. Um, paint everything that is going to be white. So, yeah, astro astronomic and gray. And then you give it a wash with that black. And then basically you go, go over it with skull white. Uh, so this is what I've done on this model. You can see um, basically this is how it looks after the two first steps. Um, this is the astronomic and gray, and then there's a wash of that up black. And so and you can see the finished result uh, on his later. It looks really good. So. Yeah, that's uh, that's basically how you do it. Uh, there's not not really a, quite any painting methods you need to know or anything, because well, it's um, you just basically paint the brush to paint on, you know. Um, so I'm just gonna I think I'm gonna do the. What should I finish the entire? Yeah, I'll paint up the entire leg and show you guys how it turns out then. So I'll, I'll just place the camera over here. I use my there uh, base coat brush for 
this process because you don't need to be too careful. Really, um, and then you go with the skull white, of course. Uh, well, at some point you have to be careful because um, you don't want to um, get the paint in my own camera uh, into the like crevices or whatever it's called. Um, on the model, you want to keep that darkness because the thing with painting both uh, the thing about painting well, white and black is uh, they're basically the opposite of each other. If you didn't know that, um, so this makes it uh, both both kind of hard to paint because uh, I mean usually you just, if you go like Dark angels, uh, they're very dark, but they still have like some color in it. But th basically, what you have to do is, um, if you want the models to look really good, um, if they have a bright color, like uh, in extreme cases, like white, um, you have to really highlight them with or you can't highlight them, but you have to use shadows instead. And that's basically what you're doing with a better black wash. So you're saving it, and you put a bit of wash on, and then you save the shadows, and the crevices and stuff, um, which make the colors pop really good. And it, it looks very nice when it's done. Um, and it's basically the same thing with darker colors um, and this is the way I paint my dark angels oh. um, but it's the opposite thing you know it's uh, instead of using shadows you have to use extreme highlights to make it look uh, uh, better you know more uh, popping or you know uh, so um, basically the darker uh, your army is the mm, the more highlights you are gonna have to use to make it look good and the brighter it is the more shadows you gonna you're gonna have to use um, so that's uh, that's a good good thing to think about when you're when you're painting. And uh, I have to say, uh, even though UW makes some well not very good products, um, their uh, like their new paints, for instance, their the bottles are just so bad. Um, but whatever, uh, one thing they've done really good is the the Citadel washes. Uh, I really love this, these uh, things, they are so good. And I think I'm done with it, yeah, but they give so good good shades and stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, you can see the end result. Uh, I'll pick it up and show you guys. See how the leg looks right now. You, that's basically how you need to work when you're painting white or brighter colors like uh, well I, um, I can think of a chapter with like very bright armor but uh, if you would want to use like uh, scorpion green for instance for your base color you you're gonna have to use a lot of shading I don't know why you would paint an army in scorpion green but uh, well someone might want to do that so that's basically a quick tutorial on how to paint white and uh, well how to paint black in the process because uh, I can just uh, how, if you want when you want to paint, paint black uh, or when you paint white and black you only use like the gray colors you know um, that's why you go when you paint white uh, astronomically gray which is very bright uh, gray, but it it's uh, um, it's the foundation paint, so it's it kind of sticks 
better to the model, which uh, uh, I think it's easier to use than like Codex Gray or something, because um, then you have to go over it uh, like a couple of times to get a solid layer. Uh, with this, you only need to go over it once and get a, a really good layer to paint on. And then you paint on the better black because um, <coughs> then you get the uh, solid solid translations from white to black uh, in the shadows, uh, and then you go over it with white because to get the the <coughs> um, bright armor in there. Um, and uh, for painting black, basically, basically what you do is uh, well, go the other way around. Really, you start with the dark color, which in this case was better black, but um, if you paint black armor you go uh, chaos black first and then you would go with a darker gray, probably like uh, Adeptus Battle Gray, I think I have one here like this and then go Astronomic and Gray and if you want extreme extreme highlights you go with the Skull White, um, but I wouldn't recommend that because um, astronom Astronomic and Gray is bright enough um, but yeah, so that's basically how you want to pa paint black uh, if you want to, I could like do a video on that too. It requires more highlights and stuff that uh, takes probably a little bit more time than this did. But uh, just uh, you can just put in the comment if you want to request that. Um, but yeah, um, that's uh, basically it. Now I'm gonna start finish this model completely. It's uh, an apothecary for the diorama. Um, so yeah, see you guys, take care.